Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tanks Gaming today again with another Hearts of Iron 4 video. The Death and or Dishonor patch has been released, DLC has been released, so in, we are in 1.4. And we have also the DLC because I bought the premium pack uh, with the season pass and everything when the game released. It was a bit of annoying because it should have released on, Tuesday, uh, on Wednesday the 14th. It actually did, but uh, late in the afternoon when I actually had no more time to either live stream or go out or do anything. Uh, Thursday I had also a lot of other stuff to do, so it's now Friday, the first time I get around to actually do a video in Death or Dishonor. I did check it out real quickly, I jumped in with Romania and checked out how Romania looked like. The focus tree. And I'm not quite sure what I want to start. I know we will we will start, uh, uh, most probably will start a um, uh, collab series together with Bendelin and Scriptar in this one where we play uh, the Balkans as well. But I definitely want to do one, uh, c uh, one country as well. So we could go for the Czechoslovakia, we could go for ki Kingdom of Hungary, we could go for Romania or we could go for Yugoslavia. I think I'm gonna start off with... I was stationed in Yugoslavia when I did my abroad mission, so it would be tempting to do that. But I, I don't, I really don't know where we will go from that. So I'm gonna go with Hungary. Select country. Uh, we're gonna play with historical AI on because I want to see if we could ca kind of manage with historical AI because we know Germany will come that way. Uh, the Soviets as well, I guess, and the Italians go for Yugoslavia. Gonna try to hold out with Hungary as long as possible. Gonna sk stay on regular for now. Um, Iron Man mode. Well, then I can't reload. If I put uh, Iron Man mode on. That gives me the achievements, though. Ah, what the hell. Let's play with Iron Man mode. Did my game just crash? Nope, there we go. Uh, Iron Man Kingdom of Hungary 1. Yes, safe and play, please. So, let's see where we go from here. What we can actually do with Hungary. I really haven't checked out Hungary at all. I should have gone with Romania in second thoughts. On second thoughts, because... I actually do know... What the hell? I choose Lithuania, not Hungary at all. Okay, that's interesting. Well, <laughs> I should have read what I'm actually choosing. Do we have a special national focus here? We do not. We just have the standard focus tree. So I choose the wrong country. Did I? Anyway, let's back out and check again. Uh, exit to menu. Okay, quit. I thought I'd choose Hungary. Did I click on Lithuania? Well, if the flag was down there, it should have gotten a new uh, new game. It should have gotten its own focus tree as well. No, I did click on that. I, I probably have clicked on the other stuff. Ah, I clicked on select country as well instead of... Yeah. I think I clicked actually into it. So select country. And then I clicked here and there. And I probably hit Lithuania at one point when I was clicking through that area here. So we are now playing the Kingdom of Hungary. This time it should work. Kingdom of Hungary, save and play. It saved me as well up here, but it chose Lithuania. Which is really weird. Or do we start with Lithuania and trying to retain Hungary? No, nope. so either I, read, either I clicked wrong or it was a bug. So anyway, what can we do with Hungary? I'm sorry about that. I'm terrible. So we have a balanced budget. Uh, let me just see what negative effects do we have. Treaty of Trianon. Treaty of this may uh, military factory construction speed is minus fifty percent. May always similar. Uh, okay, we need to get rid of this treaty somehow. So balanced budget. Nope. Minus five percent. Okay. Industrial revitalization, research bonus, railroads, okay, uh, secret rearmament, gives me more recruitable population, which then leads to naval warfare and pledge agreement. 
Right to rearm. Okay. Uh, do we have the possibility to join air development? Aircraft development, indigenous design. Minus 10%. License foreign designs. Okay, that's something new as well. So, with which one should we start? We could strengthen the monarchy and go down this monarchy route. We could read uh, economy invented and then join the fascist or the communist. Uh, Horthy. Or a lot of other stuff. We could, um, with this one, we could demand the Sudetenland. Demand the southern Slovakia, not the Sudetenland. Uh, Transylvania. Proclaim Greater Hungary. Overlordship over Slovakia. Hmm. With this one, we can claim, claim, claim Galicia. Reclaim the Empire. Oh, Tuscany! Oh, we get a little bit of stuff over here. So yeah, I think I'm first of all I'm gonna try this route here, where we stay the king, approach with a little entente. Okay, okay, okay. Take Austria by force, demand a refund. Okay, yeah, we want to we want to claim Austria. So we're gonna start with a balanced budget. Gives me 200 political power, which is nice. Uh, Research-wise, I like that they they did uh, they did all the stuff over. So it's not for everybody the same thing. Uh, the, the pictures of the weapons and stuff. This one is for everybody. It's still the same, but the infantry equipment looks different. The motorized and mechanized looks different in different nations. Which is nice. This one still looks the same. This one, the tanks got also updated, so different skins for different tanks, different nations. I think this still looks the same on everybody's side. Um, this one over here, we are a small country or small-ish country. We have 52 manpower. That is horrible. So we need to go down this route at some point anyways. Okie dokie. Um, Research-wise, I should start like always with faster research speed. And then, of course, also the construction, uh, the production efficiency cap, and faster production. Yes, please. 190 days. So, checking out military factories. We actually do have six military factories, which is kind of interesting. Um, we can't really produce anything else. I probably should produce some 80 centimeters artillery artillery for anti tank purposes, because. I don't think I will get to the tank stage fast enough where we can defeat against tanks, but nah, nah, I don't care. Um, how much short am I? I'm very short on infantry equipment, so yes, um, all three in here, maybe one more in support equipment, even though we have enough at the moment. We don't have any manpower. Uh, this is unassigned divisions, it's nice, you now shift click on that, it actually selects everybody you have uh, you have not assigned to an army. So I have 16 divisions trained up, uh, that's that's kind of a nice army, uh, we could give them a nice general. Trickster or tanker? I don't have any tanks right now, so you're gonna be trickster. So that's all good. Um, you're gonna stay here. Oh, by the way, that is beautiful. You see the range of your planes you have on the airport. That's just ooh, gorgeous. Um, however, I gotta. I think I'm gonna scrap all my air missions. Actually, I can probably click on um, this band. Oh yeah, you see the airport and you see the range of the bombers. They have a f much larger range. Which is so beautiful. It's so nice. Um, I want to disband those guys. Is it... Old air wings. Nah, that isn't it. Damn it. Okay, click on here. Click on here. Okay, that's the way... Uh, oh, I just saw it. Here it is. <laughs> I need the manpower. I need the manpower. So that's why I'm going to disband the two wings as well. I have no more air wings up and running. I shouldn't have any air naval stuff. No, I don't. So that's all good. How does my inf how do I look infrastructure wise? I'm up to six everywhere. How many factories will I have? 
eight. Upgraded like this. Five factories are actually producing, so... Uh, <laughs> so one, two, one, two, one, two. So we are not building up here in North Hungary, but this one can go all the way to the top, followed by this one. North Hungary can stay down here a little bit on the bottom. Uh, we have 2k manpower now, which is still not a lot. Available planes in reserve, that's also good. And we would need some steel, which is here. Steel. Um, can try to get 10 from France, actually. Two factories gives me 16 steel. Do I want that? I don't think I need that right in the beginning. So I'm, I'm gonna let that run for the moment. And we're gonna hit play. And so it starts. And which one is the first thing we're actually going through? Uh, Strengths in the Monarchist. Uh, will no be called Legiments. Elect a King. Uh, more than 30% Okay, require Strengths in Monarchy. Okay, and then we are go invite the Habsburg Prince. And then demand a re uh, re referendum. Uh, fully independent. It's fully independent, mutually exclusive. We take Austria by force. Yeah, we're gonna go down this route. So we need probably our troops on the Austrian border. Uh, or should we go for the industry first? I think we should go for the industry first. Yeah, next, 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 uh, we're gonna go for, in uh, for, uh, for sure, industry. So go to the Austrian border. Get ready. Uh, I'm down to zero manpower again, of course, because where the hell would I get manpower from? Uh, okay, the re remilitarization of the Rhineland happened. That's worrying. The balanced budget happened, which gives me 120, uh, 50, 120 manpower, right? Uh, I don't remember. It doesn't show up anymore. So we could strengthen the monarchy, but I want the industrial stuff first. Uh, support domestic industry, support urbanization. It's three, three building slots. So this one, this one, then this one, and then we continue with the other one. So yeah, that one actually already happened. That's cool. Um, okay, we have volunteers only. No, 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 no. Uh, disarm the nation we are actually. Nope, I don't like that. Uh, we go to volunteers only. Not a national spirit treaty of Tristan. Okay, we still have the treaty of Tristan, so we can't do that. Um, ba -ba -ba, that's not too good. Silent workhorse. Uh, compassionate gentleman. Improved relation. Nope. Captain of industry. Nope. Well, construction speed goes up. What the hell? Why the hell not? Okay. Uh, we can actually. Whoops. That was the wrong button again. Yep. This, here we go. And hit play again. So we need to get rid of the treaty. Uh, wait, where would that be? Uh, called ligaments? Nope. Nope. Let me get a rid of the treaty. Okay, I probably need to do this next. War games. I don't know where I can get rid of the treaty, which is a bit sad. Um, radio or. Yeah, this is still going. So we go going next. This is a radio. That's some radio. Get the troops up and ready. I play again. I hit and again. Damn it. Barely hit the space bar. It's such a small, small key on the keyboard. Apparently. Uh Blood Agreement, Hungary. The right to rearm. I guess it's that one that gets rid of the the other thing, but like I said, I want the infrastructure first. Reintegrate railroads gives infrastructure. Yeah, I think that's actually not too bad. Okay, take this one right away. That's okay. Then we go in here. You're done with that research. 50% uh, boost. Yeah, why the hell not? Give me the extra building slots. 
that's actually pretty good. And I still cannot change to... The, I'm still disarmed the nation, which is... I don't like that. <laughs> so I think I really have to go actually this route first, because Blatch Agreement, which uh, gets even Hungary demands the right to rearm. Which should get rid of that one. Operations of reapproachment, a little element opposing the agreement, or by reluctance. Opinion. Okay, uh, I'm gonna give it a try. I don't know if it will work. I hit N again. Damn it! I'm I'm not that fat fingered. Well, apparently I am, but uh, uh, 130 days. Nope. Uh, tanks. Nope. I don't have the factories to build the tanks yet. Aircrafts. Yeah, some point maybe. Uh, let's get the mechanical computing. It's 229 days, but that might help me still. So we have another 150 points, but we still cannot do that. Uh, I'm gonna save up the points for a moment. I don't know what I want to... Well, probably shouldn't. Probably shouldn't save up the points. Uh, the silent workhorse gives me polit more political power, so yeah, there we go. There's barely any recruitable population. 53 per month. That's nothing. It's gonna take forever to get two civilian factories, and then we start with the other one. Because, yeah, I wanna get uh, the infrastructure. Oh, by the way, inf we just got infrastructure out of that, right? Um, Olympic Games, concentrate industry has been done, okay. Uh, infrastructure, yeah. Already up to 10. Uh, this one is up to 7. This one's still up to 6, so still good to build that one up. I guess, yeah, yeah, still good to build that one up. Um, done with faster construction, we are doing that, so I'm guessing to upgrade the support weaponry. Wouldn't hurt too much. And support domestic industry, yeah. Gives me two more civilian factories, which brings us up to a total of seven. Which should help out quite a bit as well. Uh, radar is going to be important in a later stage. Uh, well, actually, pretty soon already. Uh, we are still in 36. I do not. Do I need to change to mountaineers? Eh, not really. We are rather flat country. Well, for Austria, it would be nice to have mountaineers, but nah, we're gonna stay. We gonna stay. Um, this is a 37 tech, so nope. In here, that's all 38 tech, so nope. 36, some engineers wouldn't hurt at all. Get some engineers in. Uh, Italy has taken it Ethiopia, so that war had happened, and I have my normal... Uh, that's just a combat width of 12, and the horse... Well, the horse is a combat width of 8. Probably should let them train. I have enough infantry equipment, so they can actually train for a while. That should actually not hurt too much. I mean, it tanks my infantry equipment, probably. Eh, not that much, actually. I'm quite good. So, support domestic industry gives me two more civilian factory, uh, factories. That which give me the extra research slot. That's more research. Civilian industry gives me civilian factories. That will give me military factories. And would lead to another research slot. Which leads to more military factories. If I go the other route... Uh, infrastructure construction speed goes up, uh, civilian factory and steel in North Hungary, aluminium in North Hungary, and another extra e research slot. Which this one still leads to synthetic oil stuff, and research bonus. I think I'm gonna go left way. Uh, but for now, um, this one. We want some recruitable population in about 70 days. Which hopefully will fill up my army to the brim. Oh, well, to the brim. To full strength. I mean, at Gaze. the moment, they are not really fully strength. Strength in it. Yeah. Training is still coming along nicely. And on other news, we are knowing not doing too bad. Um, how should I name this series, by the way? It's not democratic, hung Hungary. Definitely not. Because I need to get rid of that thing. Damn it. I don't know how, though. 
Ukraine is coming up. So there is the Spanish Civil War is happening. Nationalist Spain and, uh, and fascist Spain. Well, nationalist Spain is fascist, right? Yeah. And the other side is Republican Spain, which is communist. So yeah, a secret rearmament. Well, let's see how much. Oh well, actually. Tell you what, guys, that's going to be it for this episode, because we are already at 20 minutes. If you did like, please hit the like button. You can also subscribe to my channel or follow me on Facebook or Twitter. Links will be in the video description. And I hope, like always, I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Thanks for watching, and bye!